there is one animal that we could spend the entire day praising and still not have enough words for, it would be man's true best friend, dogs. These furry creatures are extremely adorable, loyal, and capable of warming even the coldest of hearts. I mean, what's not to love about them? But aside from the usual breeds that you can find in almost every household, there exist dogs that are rare, cute, and unique, with some of them even looking more lion than wolf. Don't believe me? Well, let's take a look at the Lo Chen. The history of Lo Chen dogs can be traced back to Germany and are a breed of toy dogs with a lion-like appearance. Lo Chen in German means little lion, a name derived from their long flowing and silky coat with a mane on their chest. The fur on their hind legs is often shaved, while the rest is left, thereby giving the Lo Chen a male lion look. In the 1970s, there were less than 70 registered Lo Chens. Imagine that, just 70 of them in the entire world. This made them earn the title of being the rarest dog breed in the world. However, thanks to some exposure, there are a few hundred of them today, though that number is still low. Today, the Lo Chen is a companion dog living in urban apartments, and with their highly playful and affectionate nature, they fit into just about any home, as they are also great with children. Despite weighing 5 to 8 kilograms at maturity, Lo Chens are highly protective of their human companions, and who wouldn't want a decade of protection by a mini lion? Now, just in case you don't want your nosy neighbor to call the cops on you because they think you are keeping a lion, here is a breed that you don't need to look twice at to know it's a dog. The Peruvian Inca Orchid As its name suggests, the Peruvian Inca Orchid was first seen among the Inca people of Peru and loved to wander into caves filled with orchids. Unfortunately, when the Spanish invaded Peru, the breed was put to near extinction. But over the tides of time, it has now become a frequent sighting in the Peruvian streets. A law requiring at least two Inca orchids at each historical site was even passed in Peru to ensure its survival. It is now Peru's national dog, and since time immemorial, the dog is believed to possess the power of relieving arthritis. So if you suffer from Doraphobia, or just hate it when you have to clean fur from your sofa and bedding, which honestly can be so frustrating, then the Peruvian Inca Orchid is the perfect dog for you, as it is a hairless dog. So hairless that at times it has also been called the Naked Dog, weighing about 12 to 25 kilograms and standing at 50 to 65 centimeters, this elegant and slim dog portrays a soft but also fierce physique. Their slim bodies and long legs are built for speed and they enjoy hunting rodents. They are especially protective of children and women. Noble, lively, affectionate, and alert are just some of the Peruvian Inca Orchid's traits. Yes, even their stone-cold face says otherwise. A Peruvian Inca may be considered a rare breed, but if you live in Peru, well, rare isn't exactly the word that you would use. But imagine a dog so rare that if you spot one, then you're among the lucky few. Chances are high that you'll get to see a sunflower in the desert before you meet the Otter Hound. The origin of the Otter Hound traces back to England, where it was bred for the sole purpose of otter hunting. Its acute sense of smell, even when in water, webbed feet, affinity for swimming, and shaggy, oily coat that has a waterproof layer made it the perfect fit for this job. However, otter hunting was outlawed in the 19th century, and this led to a massive decline in the otter hound's population. In 2012, their population stood at an all-time low tally of 600 in the world, making them an endangered dog breed. If you are among the lucky few, otter hounds make good family dogs since they are affectionate, friendly, and playful. However, since they were bred for hunting, otter hounds require a lot of space to roam and play as they discharge their massive loads of energy. This makes them a not-to-go-for dog if you're living in urban apartments with limited space. But if yours is a farmhouse, 
then this vulnerable native breed will surely give you the best companionship experience. Now, if you need a rare dog for your small space, consider the Ibizan Hound. At first glance, the Ibizan Hound will take you back to the primeval drawings of ancient Egypt. Well, that is because of their erect ears and long snout, a familiar motif of the pharaoh hounds of the Egyptians before the dawn of civilization. It is one dog breed with a cute, quiet grace that is often perceived as deer-like. The Ibizan Hound has an attractive and athletic look with long legs that come in handy when running. They were originally bred for hunting rabbits and other small wild game in Spain. And today, if given a chance, the Ibizan Hound will gladly trade its warm bed for a chance to hunt and run wild again. They get along with children and other dogs, and they are generally a friend to all, including strangers. However, the Ibizan hounds are agile, confident, obedient, and quiet inside the house, so you can be sure the neighbors won't be knocking at your door for those noise complaints. Now, unlike the Ibizan hound, the sound of a Corellian bear dog's bark is enough to tell the size and type of intruder on its territory, be it an animal or a human. In the 1930s, the Nordic people of Finland were tired of bears and other wild game destroying their fields and attacking livestock. So, they bred an aggressive dog breed capable of hunting big game all by itself, the Corellian bear dog. Loyal, courageous, and self-confident, don't let their beauty fool you. Beneath their fur is a fiery fighting spirit. It has a dense coat with stiff guard hair and brown eyes that will make you mistake it for a wolf. Standing at 54 to 60 centimeters and weighing 20 to 30 kilograms, the Corellian is truly built for its hunting duties. Since it was bred for hunting, it prefers an outdoor environment where it can run and exercise. So yet again, farmhouse for the win. Now, still on the farmhouse, the Border Collie in action is the world's premier sheep herding dog. But have you met Moody? Bred and hungry, Moody's were in charge of livestock. During the Second World War, most Moody's were killed and only a few thousand are in existence. Today, Moody is still a herding dog and a great watchdog. If there is no livestock to guard and herd, it will be seen herding the kids, family pets, and pretty much anything else that moves. Its curly coat tends to element and blends while out with the flock. It appears just like a fluffy ball with long teeth and short little legs. Those that love being indoors? Well, you're better off with a Bedlington Terrier. It's loyal, playful, friendly to children and strangers, and a great TV companion. It looks like a small lamb that you just want to sit and cuddle with as you watch your favorite Netflix film. Oh, and there's a plus. Despite all the fur that Bedlington Terriers, they don't shed. You only need to groom it to remove the dead hair. They are energetic, love to dig, bark, and will chase cats and other family pets for, well, the simple reason that they are fierce fighters who love challenges. And if the Bedlington Terrier can sit through hours of binge watching, it is only fair that at the very least you put on a dog show. Here you are likely to come across an Azawak. Though rare, they are an obedient and intelligent breed that is easy to teach tricks and drills apart from the normal catch and fetch. They are a proud, confident dog breed that is lean with a regal presence. The breed originated from the Azawak Valley in the Sahara, West Africa. Being a loyal companion who wants to please its owner, the Azawak also contradicts itself by at times being independent and wanting to do things its own way. Commonly known as the warrior class dog, it is a swift hunter who is playful, gentle, and runs for fun. Its desire to get into a job runs deep within its veins, making it the perfect working dog. Alert and aware of its surroundings, the Azawak will chase anything that moves, from a ball of thread to a leaf in the wind. It is so loyal to its human companion that if and in an unusual situation, it will sit back and watch its owner for any reaction before it acts. I mean, come on, what more could you ask for? 